Welcome to the Senior Western National Championships Indoor Tennis. This is for the women at the Calgary Winter Club. Hi there, my name is Phoenix, joined by sideline reporter J.P. Parsonage, and by my side, providing insight and analysis, assistant tennis pro at CWC, Peter Smythe, Peter Carol Lau, Marlene Hecker. What do we know about these two? Well, Carol Lau, she's the number one seed in this event. Uh, this is the 50 and over. She's ranked number two in Canada in that category, number one in BC. Uh, she's from Vancouver. She plays out of the Shaughnessy Golf and Country Club there. And uh, she's uh, someone who really moves well, quick feet, hits well on the run. Uh, two hands, both sides, a lot of uh, consistency and compact strokes. Both of these ladies, have they faced each other before, as far as we know? Uh, well, they have. In fact, in the last uh, year, they've played twice in sanctioned tournaments. They've split those two matches. And uh, so I think we can expect a pretty uh, tight uh, match here. Amazing facility here at the Calgary Winter Club. You've been and played on this court countless times. Great facility. It is a great facility. Uh, this is... Uh, we have these two new courts that are just a little over three years old, really nice space. Uh, and we have four more courts on the other side that were just resurfaced this last year. So we have six courts in all. 280,000 square feet here at the Calgary Winter Club. Everything from skating, swimming, curling, running, and of course, tennis. Today is going to be a great, great time to watch these two play for the championship round. So Marlene with the first serve, Carol taking her serve. position well behind the baseline. And here we go. Love Marlene wants team. to reestablish herself, uh, her routine in the first uh, couple, of, couple of games, I'm guessing. So Marlene's uh, known for having a really big first serve. She's going to want to get a high percentage of first serves in and uh, get that started nice and early. Let's get some of the nerves out early, Carol. <laughs> see Carol attacking and that's one way to get the nerves out. Let's see what they have in their tool shed. This is uh, the best of three sets. If you're just joining us, it is Marlene Hecker and Carol Lau, 1530. First set. Both ladies exchanging volleys, 15, or lobs, 15. and Carol, uh, pardon me, Marlene, quick to the net, hoping for some success, and hits the net. Loss of point, 1540, Marlene Hecker. Trying to hold serve. Both of them a little bit rusty. Nerves are probably kicking in. They're probably just trying to get rid of it right now and just get some sort of routine here. Yeah, first game of the match, always a little tough to just come out and feel loose right away. Got to kind of work the nerves out, and get some balls in play, get some rhythm.
both of these ladies probably haven't played with uh, uh, ball boys and umpires very often, so this might be a little bit of a daunting uh, exercise right now. Again, there's the nerves. Yeah, it's very true what you're saying. Uh, players are used to playing, getting their own balls, keeping their own score. So the rhythm of play is a little bit different when you're waiting for balls from the ball crew. And, and of course, players are dependent on their routines, and that changes the routine. So it can be a little off-putting early, but they'll get used to it as we go along. Advantage, Lau. Cautious play in our first game. game Marlene Hecker Lau. takes that game. Or actually, Carol Lau takes that game. This is the first in uh, the best of six. And of course, I'm sorry, the best of three sets here today. And a little background on uh, Marlene Hecker. Uh, she's the number two seed in this event. Also from BC, she plays out of the Vancouver Lawn Tennis and Babington Club which ironically doesn't have lawn tennis courts. They have 12 hard and four clay courts. Uh, she's uh, number five in Canada and number three in BC. So we have two players here in the top five in Canada in their age category. Carol Lau to serve. Carol to serve. And both these players will want to get a high percentage of first serves in. I think we'll see a noticeable difference in the percentage of points they win on their first serve versus their second. Great example there. Yeah, well placed. That was just really in tight to the body, and Marlene couldn't get her arms extended. And that makes it uh, a little harder to control the ball. She, she really had to bring her shoulders up and to make that shot. Solid, solid forehand. Yeah, it's a nice cross court there. And You'll see that Carol plays with a two-handed forehand, which is somewhat unusual, but uh, but there are plenty of players that do that, and that will tend to make her strokes a little more compact. I find it interesting that Carol came to the net, but then she actually backed up. Is she is she just not confident at the net? Do you believe, or she's just? Again, just trying to play cautious right now. Yeah, I think you'll see that Carol's more comfortable playing at the back or sometimes moving forward into the middle of the court to intercept balls, but uh, mostly at the back, whereas I think you'll see Marlene in that same situation usually continue forward. Early lead for Carol Lau. And I think in in general, you'll see uh, Marlene play a little more offense. She's uh, kind of got what we'd call a live arm, can really generate a lot of racket speed, particularly on the serve and uh, with her topspin forehand. And uh, is a little more comfortable playing uh, up at net. Again, the, 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 the forehands, the backhands, the, there's not too much pace on them. So these should be relatively easy returns. Again, are we still battling nerves here in the third game? Well, that's a big part of it. And And for many players, uh, a ball with less pace can actually be in some ways more challenging. You, you've got more time. It's uh, a little harder to keep your focus. Sometimes uh, 
you have to generate your own pace and uh, so some people prefer a faster ball and will make fewer errors Carol with a very aggressive stance on the first serve second serve she moves up a little closer to the baseline anticipating less pace on this serve yeah, she's taking that inside the baseline which allowed her to put her opponent in trouble there pays off yeah that was good both both shots were Applied pressure there, and that paid off for her. It's being able to read the pace of that ball. And th that's the first serve we were talking about. A lot of speed on that one. 30, 40. That one's well placed as well. Carol had to stretch for it. Fantastic first serve from Arlene. So there you see she's when she Dude. makes that first serve. That's two quick points right there. Carol having a little trouble there, uh, running, trying it. to get that Hacker. ball. Yeah, she's trying to keep the ball deep and, and high to the backhand of Marlene, just misses a little bit wide. Longest rally of the match, but Marlene Yay, pulls it out. It is now two games Lowe to one games for Carol Lau. That just off the net changes the pace. Carol with a great backhand return. Excellent. Wonderful rally, and I'm sure that both of these ladies would like the rallies to continue a little bit longer. Again, just to help loosen them up a little bit and try their arsenal of tools in their tool shed. Yeah, everyone wants to get in uh, lots of balls early in the match, get some rhythm and, and go from there. So we'll see if, uh, if that last point helps both players. Still a quite uh, a, a close match. We were expecting this, yes, Peter? Yes, uh, absolutely. Uh, we have a bit of a contrast in styles. We have two players that know each other. In fact, uh, the, these two are playing, uh, they are doubles partners in this event as well. So they know each other well, uh, no secrets. Uh, as mentioned, they're one and one in their in tournaments over the last 12 months. And, uh, you know, as you can see that, uh, you know, they're both going to be working to, uh, to keep as many balls in play as they can and take advantage of their opportunities when they get them. Care allowed to serve. It is the fourth game in this first set. Strong on the forehand. Still, we're starting to see more balls in play as uh, they get into the match, getting used to the environment. One factor with these two players is that they're used to playing at uh, sea level, and we're in fact at altitude, so the ball is uh, moving faster than they're used to, and that's why sometimes they're going to be hitting long when we don't expect them to. 
or the ball uh, is on them a little faster than they expect. Just wide on that serve. Strong second serve. Marlene not able to handle that one. 30, 15. Point Carroll. for Carol. 30 all. Both are challenging each other, moving each other left and right on the court to see if they can actually do the return, make the return so far. Not too bad. Marlene creeping up. By creeping up, that puts a little pressure 30, to hit a better second serve, so that may have forced that uh, double fault there. Point Marlene. Marlene moving up again. Just in, Peter. Just in. Whew. Yeah. Yeah, that return looked like it was going to sail wide for a second. Wow. There, but wow. But again, by coming in a little closer on the return, sure. uh, that gives the server a little less time to get to the next ball there, and that paid off on the last couple of points. Two games all, Marlene Hecker to serve. Short hop for her, try to attack that one. Yeah, trying to take that on the rise, which is uh, really the right idea there, because if you back up, you're going to have something uh, head height or higher. Just didn't make it. Beautiful return from Carol. Marlene not able to keep that Carol, one in. Love 30. Love 30. There's the speed of that first serve when it's right in on the body like that. You can see that Carol just didn't have time to get out of the way. Look how she's trying to lean out of the way. Doesn't have time to move her feet. And that's, uh, that's the point for Marlene. Marlene with the teasing that she's coming to the net. Obviously, it affected Carol with her return. As you can tell, that one, went, that one just went wide, just went long. So she's anticipating Carol lobbing there because mm -hmm. she's in trouble. So she moves in to intercept. Smart play for Marlene. Yes, very. And again, you see that first serve right in tight to the body. So Boy, Carol can't get her arms extended. And that leads to the short return and puts Marlene in control of the point.
Carter in the corner, a great return from Marlene. Carolau not able to handle on, hang on to that one. 3-2 is the score early in the first set. It is Marlene Hecker taking on Carol Lau. This is the 2016 Women's Senior Western National T Tennis Championships from the Calgary Winter Club. Movement, a lot of it. These ladies are trying different things, and for some, it pays off. For some, it doesn't. But right now, Carol with the lead, an early lead, three games to two. What is what is that young lady right now thinking as she uh, is ready to go for her uh, the, the uh, sixth game? Well, we've had a little bit of a swing in the momentum there with Carol getting the first two games, Marlene making the next three. So basically, you're going to want Carol's going to want to get back on track, just cut down on her errors, uh, make some first serves in this next game. That'll be a, a big part of it. Uh, Marlene needs to stay aggressive. Absolutely. I mean. Uh, you know, Marlene needs to be getting uh, getting her returns in play, needs to be getting a high percentage of first serves in because her first serve is very effective. And uh, But here we are. It's a tight match, back and forth, uh, kind of what we expected. We saw in that last game some, some longer points, and you see that both players are working hard to get every ball back and, and competing really well. Care allowed to serve. Great first serve. And that's one of the keys is just uh, getting a lot of returns back in play uh, to make it harder for the server to hold serve. Carol not willing to go to the net, but still gets a successful point there. Again, Marlene maintains her aggressiveness. Whether or not Carol decides that she may want to take that route, we'll see as the match continues. Left. First serve. That's two missed returns in the game, which makes it so much easier. It's uh, as if the server is starting with a 30 love lead. And uh, they've been very evenly matched uh, after the first couple of shots. So both players are going to want to get a lot of their first serves in play and conversely a lot of their returns of serve. Carol comes back strong. She was down three games to two. Now it is tie three all. A, a, a very impressive game for Carol Lau. Really solid and, and aided by the three missed returns to serve. Fantastic shot. Uh, outright, outright winner there, backhand down the line. And when she does let it go, she can generate really good racket speed. Just long. 30 love.
Really good depth on the back end there to force the air. You see Carroll sneaking in there 40, behind the strong 30. shot and that puts pressure on the opponent and led to the error. Holding serve Marlene Hecker. Boy, did she ever need that. Four games to three. This in the first set. We are early in this match. This is the 2016 Women's Senior Western. National Tennis Championships held here at the lovely Calgary Winter Club. My name is Phoenix. We have an online uh, sideline reporter. His name is J.P. Parsonage. We'll get him to talk to the winner after this match. Also joining me alongside Peter Smythe, the assistant tennis pro here at CWC. These ladies, Carol Lau and Marlene Hecker, are up for the championship. We're taking a quick break here as we look at these two ladies trying to decide what they want to do next. Some great play by both players, Peter. Yes, absolutely. You can see that they're both uh, really gotten into the match after the first couple of games, getting used to the environment. And this really is a different environment for both players. Uh, we're at sea level, we've got umpires and ball kids and, and hey, camera crews and so on. So, so that all takes a little bit of getting used to. And we've seen the rallies uh, get longer as uh, the match has progressed. And, and uh, we're seeing them both fighting hard for all their points. Both of these competitors are actually have settled into their game. For the most part, neither one is willing to come to the net right now. Deep cross shots from corner to corner, keep the other opponent moving, seems to be the strategy right now for both of these ladies. Well, that's, uh, you see Marlene Christina. stepping up in the court there, and she does need to be aggressive in those situations. When you're inside the baseline, she's got a really good forehand, can generate lots of speed. Just didn't quite get her feet uh, positioned correctly to make the right impact there. That's the right, the right play by Carroll to come up and take that earlier. And again, same thing, just, uh, just didn't quite get the feet set up uh, to get the right impact. Uh, but she should be aggressive in that situation. Very poignant time in the match. Carol does not want to be broken here. Just long. Again, there you just see that uh, Carol Morning. stepped up in the court twice at the right time and and maybe it's just a little less comfortable in those situations uh, for now. Marlene's going to want to hit those uh, 
more of a forehand drive with top spin rather than hit the slice there because the ball's there for her to hit and that forehand is a strength of hers. Marlene Hecker breaks Carol Lau, and that's what she wanted, five games to three. That's exactly where she wants to be. Carol has to figure out what she needs to do to keep that uh, score at bay. Serving for the set, Marlene Hecker. That's what Carol's going to want to do. Those are the shots she missed in the last game, stepping up inside the baseline and being aggressive. And but when she gets that second serve, that's exactly what she wants to do. And there's a completely different point with Marlene making the first serve. You see that then she is mm -hmm. in control of the point from there. Yeah, Carol did not like that one. Again, Marlene making her first serve. 30-15. Nice placement of that return, of that shot. 40, That's exactly what she wants. She wants to be making that serve and then following it up with the forehand. Wonderful shot from our Shaw TV camera crew, Marlene Hecker, 40-15. Set point. Her second serve, we've noticed here, Peter, is, is a much softer second serve. It would probably bode well for Carol to attack it, knowing that her second serve is probably going to be a little less, with less pace on it. Yeah, there's a big difference between the two. See there, with two set points, Marlene really wanted to make a first serve there. Now it's going to be a little tougher. It's always a little harder to hold serve closing out a set. It's just a little different feeling. But she's still got the opportunity here. Beautiful. Carol finding a way to keep herself in this match. She has the advantage right now over Marlene Hecker. Fantastic rally. Yeah, that was a really high quality point, especially for this situation in the set at 5-3 uh, deuce. And uh, Carol successfully moving it in and intercepting. She's uh, had a couple of those opportunities slip away up till now. Chance for Carol to come back right here.
just out. That one goes to Carol Lau. 5-4, she's not out of the woods just yet, but she is next to serve. Four games to five. Carol Lau behind by one game. You're watching the 2016 Women's Senior Western National Tennis Championships from the Calgary Winter Club. Wycom Solutions, a proud supporter of the Chasing Limits Series and Alberta Amateur Sports. Visit wycom.ca for details on their full list of communication products and services. Welcome to the 2016 Women's Senior Western National Tennis Championships of the Calgary Winter Club. My name is Phoenix. On the sideline reporter is J.P. Parsonage. And joining me beside me is Assistant Tennis Pro at CWC, Peter uh, Smythe. As we enter into the remainder of the first set, it is four games to five. Carol Lau is serving right now, hoping to get herself back into this game. We see another high quality point there and Carol doing the right thing moving in and intercepting and then just from there actually needed to continue forward to get a conventional volley rather than backing up and having a more difficult volley there in three quarter court. Standing in no man's land. She's got to make a decision either baseline or get rid right of to the net. And she was uh, in control there. She'll have wanted to move forward next time. And that's uh, that's going to be a big relief for Carol there. She's going to be wanting to get her first serves in and, and hopefully get a few uh, unforced errors from Marlene here to get to even the set. Second serve. Great return from Carol Lau. It was a fantastic shot from Marlene, but she, Carol, had the answer. And we're seeing in this match that one thing Carol does really well is hit on the run when she's moving into the corners and she's not, she doesn't miss those. Tied at 30. Second serve. Miss hit from Marlene. She realizes the importance of this point right now. Off the top of her racket. Game she needed that, Peter. Peter, she long. needed that big time. She did, and in that game you see uh, Marlene missed three returns, and you have to wonder if she was still had those... Uh, set points from the previous game in her head and uh, you know, maybe maybe not but it's so important to just stay in the present regardless of what's uh, happened previously five games all first set mm. well, again that's exactly the right play your opponent's in trouble you're going to move in and You've got a really great opportunity here, and unfortunately, she just didn't uh, quite move enough to get the right impact. Need to finish. But that's it's important to keep doing that because that keeps pressure on your opponent. Just long ties this up. So even though she missed the previous one, her opponent can feel like 
She's under pressure going for the difficult ball and may try to hit a slightly better shot and push it long like that last one. So it's still good that Carol went in on the previous point, even though she lost it. Carol just seems to have more of a, a, an aggressive feel. She seems to think, I, I'm, I'm in this. Well, I think because uh, between the two players, uh, Carol has the quicker feet, and uh, you know, Marlene has a little more of a, a, the live arm, and it makes for an interesting contrast in styles and a real back-and-forth chess match between the two of them. And as we mentioned earlier, they've played before, and, uh, and we're seeing that it's a really, really competitive match. Great forehand from Carol Lau. And that's where sometimes the two-handed forehand can be really helpful. And the uh, top hand on the racket can help you get around the outside of the ball and create that angle. You see that with two-handed backhand players are often very comfortable hitting that shot. Just wide. 30, 40. Carroll with great positioning, it pays off right here. Carroll Lau takes it. Six, takes that game, it's six games to five. Who will take the set? We're about to find out. You're watching the 2016 Women's Senior Western National Tennis Championships on Shaw. Wycom Solutions, a proud supporter of the Chasing Limits Series and Alberta Amateur Sports. Visit wycom.ca for details on their full list of communication products and services. Welcome back to the Calgary Winter Club. My name is Phoenix, joined by assistant tennis pro at CWC, Peter Smythe. It is the 2016 Women's Senior Western National Tennis Championships here at the Calgary Winter Club. Carol Lau, Marlene Hecker. It's a really nice uh, pickup half volley on the baseline, redirecting at cross court. Carol serving for set. And really solid first serve. We've seen that so often when they can get their first serves in tight to the body and the other player can't get their arms extended. They've Both players have won points that way. Great example there. Yeah, that's, that's it again. And that's those two missed returns make it so much easier for the server to hold serve. You know Carol can feel it. 40 love, set point.
Beautiful yeah. shot from Carol Lau. I don't believe Marlene was expecting that one, Peter. Wow. Well, I think she, uh, that was a little bit of a miss hit uh, shank. So I kind of think probably neither player was expecting that. And <laughs> one of them will be a lot happier with it than the other. That's right. If it works, it works. Carol Lau, winner of the first set. What does Marlene Hecker have to do for the second? Well, not much, really. I mean, if you look at it, it's a very tight set. Uh, Marlene had two set points. And uh, so really the difference between winning and losing is pretty minimal. And so, But the two things she'll need to do is if she does get those opportunities again to, to get the first serve in because she didn't get any first serves in from 40-15 at 5-4. And the second one is just to get more returns in play because Carol's able to hold serve a little more easily because she's getting one, two, I think even there was one time three free points per service game. Watch those unforced errors. Love exactly, especially at the beginning of the point for both players. Uh, you know, if, uh, w once we get into the rallies, we're just seeing that it's uh, really tight. Both players are doing some really good things. But uh, more errors in the first two shots uh, could be the difference. We've established, Peter, that these two do know each other. They understand each other's games, using that to their advantage easily, I'm sure, in this match as well. Yes. Carol, the more um, agile. Yes, and uh, interestingly, after they've uh, gone at it in this match, they'll get a bit of a break, and then they get to go to, to play as teammates because they're playing doubles <laughs> together. Carol struggling, or pardon me, Marlene struggling with her first serve. Second serves, as we've established, little lighter. Fantastic shot. Mm. 40, but right there in that point, even though Carol did lose that point, Peter, she is truly establishing her game, moving Marlene around from from corner to corner. Yeah, absolutely. That's what she needs to do, keep the pressure on the opponent, move her around. Marlene with game point. Good placement from Carol there. See there, it looks like that at longer point earlier uh, took a bit of a toll on Marlene. Second serve again. And there we see that even though Carol lost that uh, point earlier to make it 40-15, she really worked Marlene hard. And sometimes even though you lose that point, that can win you a point or two right afterwards. And that seems to be the case here. Advantage. Again, that Hacker. first serve that you and I have been talking about throughout this entire match, that is key, as you can tell, Marlene winning that point. Yeah, that's a, that's a speed that's really exceptional. And she's dis mm. disappointed there because she made the first serve again. But uh, but that serve, uh, there's a significant difference both between her first and second serves and also her first serve and Carol's serve. The key is to get enough of them in that that uh, doesn't work against you. If you're hitting hard but missing too many of them, you can end up playing too many second serves. Mm. 
great rally. Fantastic points delivered by both these ladies. Back to Deuce. Oh, advantage, pardon me. Advantage, Carol. Peter, great points. Yeah, lots of great rally. Lots of variety there too. Also, Marlene showing off her ability to slice. Uh, she's able to slice really well on both sides, forehand and backhand. And uh, again, Carol's doing the right thing here, taking the ball early. She just needed to move up a little bit more to have a, a ball a little bit higher. But still, that's creating pressure. Marlene knows when she's in trouble that Carol's going to take the ball early. Back to Deuce. Fantastic Lau. shot from Carol Lau. Yeah, really nice forehand there. And I think Marlene missed an opportunity. She had a forehand uh, right in the middle of the court early in the point and w wasn't quite aggressive enough with it and ended up on defense. Break point opportunity. Miss hit first from game, Marlene set. Hecker. Wow. First point, first game of the second set goes to that young lady, Carol Lau, who now is in the lead for the second set. One game to nil. You're watching the 2016 Women's Senior Western National Tennis Championships here at the Calgary Winter Club. Marlene Hecker, Carol Lau. Tight first set, Peter. Second set, at least at this point, seems to be imminent. That rally, we, we saw a number of rallies in that first game that uh, might show that this is going to be a longer match. Well, and we saw both players, uh, or we're starting to see m both players uh, taking their opportunities to come in a little bit more than early in the match. And, and that's another thing that will, uh, I think, determine how well they do is how successful they are when they do come forward. Because if someone's coming forward, um, Whenever, whenever you're in trouble, when you're in trouble, you feel that and may want to try a, a more difficult shot and end up missing. Fifteen loud. That's a really good wide first serve from Carol. Again, we're seeing a significant difference in points one on first and second serve for both players. Confidence as well. Not afraid to take those. Difficult shots. Yeah. 15 all. Then again, mistakes happen. Yeah, one thing both players have done well is, is come in and, and intercept when they've had the opportunities, even when they haven't executed. Oh, and there's an ace. Brilliant, sir. But, uh, but they're doing the right thing. And uh, if you have the courage to do that, that's going to pay off in the end. Marlene creeping up. May have had some effect on Carol. Point, Marlene.
Aggressive play by Marlene Hecker. Pays off. Brings it to Deuce. Second game, second set. And that's one aspect of the game that she has uh, an advantage over Carol is the ability to hit that slice, which makes a really nice approach shot there. Just do more of it, Peter. Mm. Advantage, Lau. And good depth there from Carol, and so again, if the if she keeps it deep, then Marlene won't get the opportunity to use that slice. Game point. Game goes to Carol Lau, two games to none. She takes an early lead in this second set. Aggressiveness is paying off. Hitting the first serve is paying off. These ladies know what they need to do. It's just convincing their body that that's what they need to do. Well, it's true. Sometimes the plan is great, and it's just going to be who's, uh, who's able to execute. We're at the Calgary Winter Club, the 2016 Women's Senior Western National Tennis Championships here on Shaw TV. Marlene Hecker to serve. Love, 15. Left. First serve. Carroll with an aggressive stance, and she comes right after her on that second serve. That is the strategy that's going to work for Carroll every single time. Let's see what Carroll does here on the second serve. She was a little less aggressive on the return that time. She'd probably like to have that one back. Have that one over and <laughs> give it a little more. Thirty all. This is a big game for Marlene here because right now. She's lost uh, six straight games and really needs to break that slide to change the momentum of the match. Fantastic backhand by Carol Lau. 30, 40. Although a few opportunities for Carol to attack the, neck er, uh, the net earlier, but she didn't do it, Peter. She still kept back. Yeah, she tends to hit really well there from three-quarter and mid-court, but then retreat rather than follow it in. Mm. And uh, so obviously she's more comfortable staying back and hitting the two-handed shots than moving in uh, to hit the more conventional volley with one hand. And there we saw again what you were discussing. And uh, if that's uh, if that's her comfort zone, then she can still be effective if she's making those shots from three-quarter and mid-court. Whereas uh, if Marlene's in a similar situation, she'll need to go in and hit a more of a conventional volley to finish the point. As much as this is a mental game for both, uh, or pardon me, a physical game for both of these opponent, opponents, Marlene Hecker right now is dealing with a mental game, trying to understand what is it she needs to do to get back into this match. Time. Well, absolutely. And uh, of course, we saw a huge momentum shift there from 5-3 in the first set. 
and uh, you know that could be really tough uh, when the momentum goes against you. It's really hard to get out of that, and again, just have to try to work on staying in the present and playing one point at a time. Already, you can see the demeanor of Carol Carol Lau change because you can she knows she's. She's in a very good position here as we are serving the fourth game Love of the second 15. set. Love 15. And there you see Marlene using the slice approach and coming in. And so there, that's a, that's a smart play to try and break up uh, break up the pattern because uh, now she's sitting on uh, seven, seven games in a row lost. So that's, that was a smart play. You have to do something. And there, a missed return there again. That's, that's, uh, that's what she's going to want to cut down on and just keep the returns in play and get the points going. First serve efficiency, we see it again there, Peter. And what we find with Carol is that her first serve, she's winning a high percentage as well. It's not so much the pace that Marlene has, but she does place it well. And in that case, you can see again that Marlene uh, was a bit jammed, the ball's right in on her body. And uh, so, so Carol's got enough pace on that first serve that, that when it's well placed, it's effective. Let's serve. Second serve. Marlene moves up. Mm. Miss hit. 40, 15. And you wonder if Marlene might prefer a faster ball there. Mm -hmm. she, she just kind of stopped moving her feet. And sometimes it's easier to just bang, bang and hit the ball. Serving for game, Carol Lau. Great return, Marlene needed that. She did not to be, she's in a bad position right now, doing whatever she can. She's probably taking a bit of a risk with that shot, a low percentage shot that paid off. Forty thirty, second serve. Marlene stays alive. We're a deuce. Well, she knows she was lucky on that one. Just long. Second serve. Marlene aggressive to the net, and that's what she needs to do, Peter. We, we, you and I have had this conversation a few times Decker. today. She did it there, and it proves to be successful. Yeah, there, it's taking advantage of the second serve, and she does uh, have a good attacking forehand there, can generate lots of speed, comes in, nice conventional volley to finish the point. There's Carol showing off what she does best. Fantastic shot. Yeah, great reply. And you, you see she's made a number of those uh, to uh, Marlene's forehand side of the court. Fantastic. Low, low to the baseline. Great shot, Carol. Yeah, great depth there. Carol needs to keep doing that to keep Marlene back and keep the pressure off her. Second serve. Mm. Yes. You can see the disappointment there from Carol. She's got to regroup and make a first serve here. Carol cannot let Marlene back into this game. Back at deuce. Advantage. Yeah, great job regrouping there. Serving for game. Mm. 
Marlene to the net, and again, it proves to be successful for her. Peter, look at that. That was a great return. Exactly, and she's got really good racket skills at net. Uh, partly, she's got a bit of a background in squash. In fact, she uh, played a lot of squash for a number of years, and so that really helps with those one-handed shots up at net. Mm. And then we go back to this again. Yeah, that's the killer missed return. That first serve. Serving for game. Second serve. Mm. Game loud. Was hoping for a third time lucky charm, but not that time. Carol Lau takes that game and a commanding four love lead in the second set. Just missed. Yeah, exactly. And she had a great return to force that opportunity, so she won't be happy with that. Love Marlene back team. to the net again. It looks like she's changed her strategy and realizes I've got to attack in order to do something to make a difference. Yeah, we're really seeing the rhythm of the points change now. Marlene coming in a lot more. Love 15. Fifteen all. Marlene to the net and again instant success. It's proven to be what she needs right now. That's a really nice serve and volley play there. Nice first volley to the open court and leaving a wide open court for her next shot. We've seen a new strategy from Marlene. Yeah, applying pressure. And at this point, she really needs to do that mm -hmm. because uh, obviously there was a real string of games going the other way against her. And so this is smart. Opportunity happens only so often. To the net again. Just hits the baseline or just beyond the baseline Marlene's rather four games, to one. Second set. four games to one Marlene Hecker she's in it she's not ready to say goodbye just yet you're watching the 2016 women's senior western national tennis championships here on Shaw TV Wycom Solutions a proud supporter of the Chasing Limits series and Alberta amateur sports what does this one go to Visit Wycom.ca for hour details on their full list of communication no, it, no, products the and six services. Six four. The six four? She, she does come back then. Well, not enough. Not enough, but yeah. But you know what she's doing? She's winning. Yeah. Oh, really Welcome back to Shaw TV. Second set. Carol Lau. Marlene Decker in the 2016 Women's Senior Western National Tennis Championships from the Calgary Winter Club. Carol Lau to serve. Peter, we've seen aggressive play by Marlene Hecker in the last game. Will we see more of that going forward? I expect we will whenever she gets the opportunity. That was a huge last game. That stopped a slide of, that was eight straight games for Carroll from 5-3 in the first set. Or down 3-5 in the first set, I should say. Carroll, again, establishing her serve up 40 love.
There's a good quality return. Just needs to be more consistent and keeping the ball in play off the serve and making Carroll earn the points. Marlene with a couple of opportunities to come to the net. She didn't come to the net. Thankfully, she won that point. But she, I don't know, I'm, I'm curious why she's not attacking the net like she did last game. Well, in that case, she was uh, hitting balls from deeper in the court. So she wouldn't have been able to get as far forward. Looking for those opportunities. Will she find more? 40-30, Carol Lau. Fantastic return. Even though with Marlene coming to the net, what a statement Carol Lau just made. That was a really important shot to make because Marlene's had su success there. That was a really tough shot for Carol to make, get her feet set up correctly, really precise down the line in a big situation. So that was a huge shot for her. Five games to one, the third set. Marlene Hecker to serve. Marlene needs this game, Peter. Absolutely. To the net. Mm. Difficult shot. That was, and again, that's really important because Marlene was having some success there, and now Carol is. Uh, countered successfully twice in a row. So if uh, Carol's able to neutralize that tactic and was uh, successful before, that doesn't leave many options for Marlene. on that shot just in the last game or two there's been a couple of situations there where the ball's right to her she just needs to move her feet a little bit more to make that shot normally she would it's near the end of it of the championship match here be patient wait for that shot first serve marlene hecker proves to be successful 40 15. Mm -hmm. So at 5-1, you just got to stay active and keep playing the game that got you there. Second serve. That shot, uh, a couple shots back, looked like it was wide, but guess not. It keeps in, and it's true. Marlene Hecker, she holds her serve five games to two. Carol Lau still in a commanding position here as we head into 
the eighth game of the second set. Mm, real close, Peter. Yeah, looks like it just caught. You just have to keep playing until it's until it's called out. Marlene's found a way to, to win a few of these games, and Carol is thinking to herself, one more, just one more. This is her chance to serve out the match, and and uh, as anyone will tell you, that's uh, again, that's a completely different feeling from in, uh, any other service game. So she's going to want to do what she's been doing. She's going to want to be making high percentage of her serves, really keep her feet active as uh, she so does when she's so successful. And, uh, and she's going to hope for some missed returns from Marlene to make this game easier for her. And Marlene's success is based on her aggressiveness to the, to the net. We've seen it on a number of occasions where she's actually won the point. And in order for Carol to, uh, Carol has to take some, some low percentage shots to make this thing work. So Carol has, uh, or pardon me, Marlene knows what she has to do. She just has to deliver down five games to two, second set. Carol Law, winner of the first set. Love and here we go. What a great return by Marlene Hecker. Let is the call. First serve. All. It's feast or famine. There was the winter return, and then the, then the air. It's uh, both players are probably going to be a little tighter here. Just long second serve. Second serve 15, also 30. goes long. There's Marlene's aggressiveness. And Carol would normally make that shot, and you could just see she just didn't move her feet the way she normally does, partly with Marlene coming in, and partly the score has something to do with it, I would think. Marlene yeah, needed a break, her. and she got it. Carol Law, Carol Law rather, is uh, now still in the lead. Five games now to three. Marlene Hecker has a pace. She has a rhythm. Can she continue this pace serving in the second set down five games to three? To the net. Success. 15 love. Yeah, you can see she's done so much more of that and you know now she's won three of the last four games. Great pickup by Marlene. Yeah, that was a good return too. So uh, that uh, half volley down the line she kind of made it look easy, but that was a really difficult shot. relatively routine return into the net. Mm. Marlene cannot afford to have those points lost. So that puts Carol two points from the match here. Thirty 
Great job taking advantage of the second serve and with the score that puts a lot of pressure on Marlene there. Match point. Just wide. Yeah, just missed it, but she had the courage Oof. to intercept there, and that was the right play. Marlene had a few opportunities to really put this away, but she continued to step back. Aggressive play is going to be the key for her to win. Well, I think, We're at deuce. I think down match point, she just felt she needed to keep the ball in play there. Second serve. Carolau not willing to take the aggressive stance to the net, but it, again, it pays off for her. And she's still pressuring. It's just a different style. So she feels more comfortable backing up so she can keep using the two-handed shots there. Match point. Carolau with the advantage. Second serve. Back to Deuce, the one rare opportunity, the chance that we've seen Carol to come to the net does not pay off in this instance. What happened? Well, she did exactly the right thing. And, you know, you're up match point. You've got the chance right here. She's right in position to make this uh, forehand volley. Just needed to move her feet a little bit better. And now Marlene comes back with the ace. Advantage, Hecker. It's do or die. Marlene realizes it. She's got to do whatever she can. Advantage, Hecker. Second serve. Carol creeps up. Trying for the game-winning game point, but not the case. Marlene Hecker, she holds Marlene serve five games, five to, games four. to four. Second Does Marlene have a chance? It sure looks like it, but what will Carol Lau have to say all about that? You're watching the 2016 Women's Senior Western National Tennis Championships for the Calgary Winter Club. My name is Phoenix, joined by assistant tennis pro at CWC, Peter Smythe. Peter, we are in for one heck of a finish here at the Calgary Winter Club. Coming up, Carol Lau, Marlene Hecker, here on Shaw TV. Wycom Solutions, a proud supporter of the Chasing Limits series and Alberta amateur sports. Visit wycom.ca for details on their full list of communication products and services. to serve is the 2016 Women's Senior Western National Tennis Championships from the Calgary Winter Club. Love yeah, this is not the right thing. Yeah. yeah. It should be at 5-4.
Welcome back to the Calgary Winter Club. We're in the second set. Carol Lau to serve. Serve for game and set and match. 5-4. And we saw last time when she served for the set, she just had a couple of shots she wouldn't normally miss just by not moving her feet enough. So she just needs to stay as active as she normally would. Keep those feet moving there. That's it. And there you see she made the necessary adjustment steps to make those shots. And we saw that early in the match. Her feet didn't quite move as well in a little bit over the last few games. So she needs to keep that going. Marlene keeping Carol moving, 15-30. Marlene has won the last three games in a row. Will it be four? Carol with a great placement of shot to bring it to 30-30, Peter. Yeah, that was huge. Very accurate right in the corner. And even when even the points she's lost, we have seen her moving her feet a little bit better in this game again, so that bodes well for her. Two points away from match. Mm. Relatively easy return. Oh, right idea, Carol Lau, there she goes. She is your winner, six games to five. She wins that game, set and match. Woo, what a performance by that young lady. Sideline reporter J.P. Pars JP Parsonage is there to catch up with our winner today in the women's finals. This is Carol Lau. All right, thanks guys. Wonderful game, well done, Carol. How do you feel about your uh, about your game today? I feel um, very special today because I never have any ball boy, ball girl in any match. This is my first time, so All I'm right. very excited. All right. First, first few game, we need not used to it because there's so many people watching. But it was really exciting. A little bit, a little bit of nerves when you have a crowd. Now um, you yeah. performed exceptionally well. What do you think was your strong point today? Um, I think I just um, get. You know, hit the ball and then get everything back because Molly got a very good serve, and and I just tried my best. Yeah. Very strong serve. Very technically sound game. Do you think there was anything else you wanted to improve on today? Um, I think I still have to practice my serve because a little bit double fault is not acceptable. So, yeah, I, right. I will try my best. Well, congratulations Thank once again so for Thank our you. winner, Carol Lau, and back to you guys. Thank you very much, JP. What a match this was. Back and forth, back and forth, Peter. Well, we were expecting a really competitive match and we certainly got one. You know, we saw Carol Lau fight off two set points to come back and win the first set. And then we saw Marlene Hecker come back from way, way down in the second set, fight off two match points on her own serve at 4-5 and really put pressure on Carol to round, uh, finish off the match, serve it out at 5-4, which she did. So really uh, interesting, competitive chess match, excellent entertainment. Great movement from both ladies. They'll learn from this experience and they'll move forward to their next match knowing that they could have done, probably done better. For JP Parsonage, Peter Smythe, my name is Phoenix. Thank you for joining us from the Calgary Winter Club on Shaw TV. Yeah.